the dinner show in Sweden, which I worked with before, and I said, I have an idea of an act that I would like to develop at your venue. And the, the director said, yes, we give you a one year contract to do the nun here. So we did the soft opening. I performed it for a month. I got really good reviews. The chef that did the menu, he came with his family. And during my act, his mother and father left. And the day after, I got called into a meeting because they are apparently super Catholic. So he said, I'm going to pull away my collaboration with you if you don't take out the act. My name is Fosia Rakes, but I go by Fofo. I come from the big country Sweden, from the capital of Stockholm. I am a physical comedy performer that's been touring the world since 2003. And I'm here doing the Nun in Atomic Saloon show, which is physical comedy, ping pong juggling act. I am Michael and I am Fofo's sub, so I also do the nun and juggle ping pong balls. We met and I worked at the Royal National Theatre and we did a collaboration with a, a circus company in Sweden. So that's how we started to like getting into doing the circus together. I did circus for a long time. Uh, I started when I was 15 to, to learn it. And before that I did gymnastics and I've been doing physical stuff my whole life. Uh, then I met a guy, which is not him. <laughs> him and me, we were also uh, in a relationship working together. We did trapeze and ping pong balls. Oh my God, that's what we do yeah, now. Yeah, I know. <gasps> but you grow apart sometimes. And then I met Michael. You remember when you met him the first time? You were really, really scared. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's huge, isn't he? Yeah, he's huge. So he came home from a contract and I said, yeah, but I met someone. And he said, okay, bring him over. And I said, okay. So I brought Michael over and we were sitting down having dinner and talking like grown-ups. I called a friend yeah, to tell him I was going there yeah. in case he didn't hear from me. Yeah. But. It yes. turned out all right, right? It turned out so good. Because David is my best friend. He's my family. And like I'm really your second best friend, friend then? No, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Okay. Well, I did ping pong balls since 20 years. And I still wanted to do ping pong balls. This is not a normal act. It always surprises people and I surprise them. Oh, come on, come on. Hurry up. Yes. Okay. We're better cleaner than you. I never clean them this much. That's why you get sick. <laughs> After a while, uh, the Atomic wanted you to have a sub, and then. We had a little discussion with Spiegel World uh, about me learning the act and uh, was a little back and forth, back and forth towards that. And then we decided just to dress me up as you one day yeah, with your costume and your makeup and show it to uh, the directors and, and the producers of this show. And uh, yeah, they cleared it. It was very important for them that it would be a woman who did it. and. You look so good being a woman. I know. So it really works. Like 80% of the time, people think that it is a woman doing it. I love dressing up as a woman. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I've, done it, I've done it a few times before. Actually, the first time I did it, I did it in a, a theater show in Sweden. And I was on the poster and my mom couldn't even recognize that it was me. No, but you poster. look like a woman. Like, yeah. yeah. It's funny because it's so stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why we do this, it's honestly. <laughs> First of all, I didn't want anyone to do it because you get quite protective of your art. But I could teach Michael because he's in my family, we're married. So 
he's not gonna go away doing it somewhere else. I mean, we're gonna keep it in the family. Yeah, it's also so, in the prenups. Yeah, it's also in the prenups. I was like, yeah, I mean, I can learn that. Shouldn't be that difficult, was what I said to myself for the first hour. And since then, I've been cursing myself for about almost a year. Until you unlock the technique, it's hell on earth. Standing with your neck bent over 180 degrees uh, and missing and just walking around your apartment picking up ping pong balls everywhere and then you're starting all over again. You just feel like I'm, I'm never gonna make this. This is in, it's impossible to get it back into the mount. Like you can shoot it out, but like getting it back in, no, it's never gonna work. I decided on the nun because I think it's a fun character. It is a little bit shocking, but it's not the main purpose. The audience normally really like the nun act. But sometimes I have, maybe it's one, two percent that get really offended because they are religious, which makes no sense for me being in Vegas because this is the city of sins, they say. People come here to drink, to have fun, to smoke because it's legal in this state, and to go to strip clubs and just enjoy themselves. And then they pick at me, that is a woman dressed up as a nun. You can't please the whole world at the, at the same time. It's gonna be impossible. And also, if you did, it would not be comedy. That is so unnecessary because they don't get that two is harder than one anyway. <laughs> Do you wanna... yeah. No, no. I think you should work on your technique. And if you want to be able to do something for the rest of your life, you have to take care. Like I go to the gym six days a week and I eat healthy and I really take care of, of myself because I want to do this as long as I can. If you do anything physical, you can only do it for a special amount of time. But if you do the ping pong, I mean, you get pain a little bit in your mouth maybe, but you can do it for quite a long time. I think it would be even more fun if I was really old doing it. It could also be really fun if I was pregnant doing it. There are so many ways with this character that I really think you could do it for the rest of your life. When you work together, you come forward much quicker because you can be honest. And I mean, maybe you get a little bit sad sometimes if someone is like a bit hard on you, but that's what you need. Otherwise it takes like years. Now for us, maybe it takes like a day. I am the one who gets sad and Fofo is the one that, that toughens up. And when you decide to work together, I think it's important to like lay down the ground rules because that makes it into two kind of relationships mm. and it's also it's it's very much about being totally professional yeah. with each other i'm happy that i did follow my dreams and also that i'm not limiting myself to only do what people would like i do things that i like and that i want to show and i've been doing that my whole life i think if they saw a pregnant nun they would like live by the doorstep or start praying <laughs> or shoot me, I don't know. My biggest fear with this act is actually to swallow a ping pong ball and die. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, that's impossible. Uh, you, you can't swallow a ping pong ball. If you love circus and can't get enough, check out more videos from Circus Town and please subscribe so you never miss a trick.